how do you evaluate arc sine half? So let's see, four. So this is evaluate arc sine of half here. So uh, what we're gonna have to figure out here is we are figuring out again. We're just it's it's it's, it's knowing this um this concept of trigonometry, right? And how do we know? What is what when this? It's just this is simply just a uh, trigonometric problem in probably what you see in algebra two, um, in grade eleven here. So what we know here is to evaluate arc sine of half. So basically, when we're talking about arc sine here, we're, this is simply just the inverse, right? So we can also rewrite this as my pen works here. We can also rewrite this as arc sine here is simply just the inverse of sine times half, right? So this here is also we can also rewrite that this as the sine the, the inverse sine of right of half here so in terms of now it's trying to evaluate right so uh, if we're evaluating this uh, this here what we're doing here is um, you can either uh, there's two kind of solutions to this problem you can um, there's actually two solutions to the problem just because whenever we uh, we, we, we plug this into our calculator because we don't really do this operation by hand here the inverse of sine of half we plug this into our calculator if you plugged it into your calculators in degrees you would get a value of 30 degrees so this here so I'm gonna write here I'm gonna let me preface this here so this here in degrees or in deg deg you would get 30 degrees and in radians, you would get a, you would get a uh, different number here, which would be pi over six. So this here is uh, the first solution to us uh, uh, the arc sine of half would be these. Uh, this is the first solution. This is either thirty degrees or you could say it's pi over six. However, we also have to use cast rule. We have to find cast rule. Um, we have to use our cast rule to figure out. Where is uh the where is the second solution? Because there's always two solutions, or there could be two solutions when we're working with this. So let me just draw out the four quadrants for you on this side here. I'll do some blue because it's some side work. So what we have here is this is A A S and T, right? So cast C A S T. And this here we know that here is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three. In quadrant four, right? So we're working with the inverse of sine here. So the inverse of sine here is, um, and it's a positive value, right? So this here is 30 degrees. So again, I could say this here was 30 degrees. Again, I'm, I'm simply just sketching here, right? And we're, we're asking ourselves, which which quadrant is sine also positive? And as you can see here, quadrant two, it says S, right, for sine. So again, this is the all, uh, quadrant one, all all trig ratios are positive. Quadrant two is simply just sine. Quadrant three is tangent, and quadrant four is cosine, right? So in quadrant two, sine is also positive, which means I'm going to get another value here. So if I have 30 degrees here, I can also get this uh, this value here, right? This is also my angle theta here, and this will also give us um, uh, our solution as well. And if I want to find this solution here, it's simply just uh, if we're using our simple geometric kind of values here, and our geometric identities, if we have a straight line, this is simply 180 degrees, we can subtract that by 30 degrees to get theta, right? Which is, so theta here would just simply equal 150 degrees. Or if you're working in radians, so this here is in uh, degrees, right? This here is in this is degrees so this here in degrees and if i was working in radians i can simply put again in radians here um let me do this in red here this is simply zero and two pi this here is pi over two this here is pi and this is three pi over two right so if i were to do it in uh, radians here we do this in red i will have this it's simply just pi minus pi over six would equal theta right so in order for me to transfer this i can simply have i can write this as six pi over six minus pi over six here, which is equals theta. So theta here is simply just five over six, five pi over six. So this here is also my solution. So in this case, I have two solutions or th in this case, four solutions because I have uh, solutions in degrees or radians. It depends on which, uh, what the question's asking. So if I were to say my solution here is so, let me, let me write this down, let me write this over here. So therefore, Therefore, arc sine of half would equal, and I would write this in degrees. So in, in degrees, you would get uh, 30 degrees and 150 degrees. 
and then in radians, we would get pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6 here. And these are my solutions for this problem here, 30 degrees and 150 degrees, and pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6, depending if they're asking for either radians or degrees here, depending on the extent of the question. And as you can see, the solution is correct. The answer within the interval of 0 and 360 is 30 and 150. They didn't include the radian solution here, so let me just include that. But the solution is correct regardless. So this should be analysis. Um, if they were, if question was asking in radians, then solution would be pi over six and five pi over six. So solution here is correct.